hosted by the New Zealand Association for Environmental Education. Sea Week focuses on learning from the sea. It's about exciting and inspiring all New Zealanders to renew their connections with the sea, not just children or those involved with formal education. It's time for all of us to get to know our ocean, its habitats, characteristics and inhabitants. The sea is an amazing place, but there are a few problems that face those of us who live here. Have you ever wondered what a starfish thinks about its environment? Or why a jellyfish is concerned about plastic bags floating in the sea? I asked a few of the ocean's residents what healthy sea, healthy people means to them. The clean water, the fishes, the more fish in the water, the bigger fish. And how, how much is sea on the world? Like, it's the majority of the world, you know? We, we don't live off it, but, but we do use it a lot. One thing that I always, um, I always think with the, um, here, especially up here in Northland, the big thing for me, I grew up in the Mediterranean. You don't see your feet when you get into the water, never. So I grew up thinking that the water is green, or you know, dark blue or whatever, but you don't see your feet. And what do you see when you get here in the water, everywhere around Northland? You see yourself, you can see everything. The waters are so crystal clear. Sometimes you get out in a dinghy and it's like it's floating on nothing, you know? To have that, that's what I want my daughter to grow up with. To have that always, all the time for everybody, to have water that you can see and to have life in that water. And not just little fishes that scatter away. Um, to see whale sharks, to see uh, rays and stuff like this in our beaches, in our places. That's what I think uh, when I think that. It's just don't pollute our seas. Yeah. And don't pollute the sea, actually. So yeah. it's not a matter of sticking it where you stick it. Yeah. You shouldn't stick it anywhere. No, but it's the same with um, not so much salt water too. Uh, is our rivers have been polluted by boats not cleaning and and all the rest of it, bringing the different algaes into the different areas. Well, what happens to the bottom of the boat? They I get clean, I get, no, it. I clean it every time it comes out. Scrubbed, because I take responsibility of my animals and where I've been. And I do not leave any of my pollution. No. And you pick up rubbish that you find along the beach, so do we. Oh, so do I. Mm. And I actually pick it on the side of the road too. Mm. Do you? I've seen you stop on the side of the road yeah, picking so, so, up rubbish. And I'm picking up glass and all the rest of it, so I am a responsible person. My word, you are. I am. The government's way of protecting our uh, marine environment in New Zealand, uh, setting up the Biosecurity Act and um, to administer that and, and, and police it, hopefully, um, to keep our, uh, our sh shores clean of unwanted um, organisms and whatever. We get lists available uh, to, through the uh, clubs and through the marinas, uh, uh, pamphlets in particular, for um, look so that we can keep an eye out for it. Uh, certain um, things that might grow on your boat or you, you may notice them on the marina or even in your travels around the uh, marine areas. Well, like, it would be like rubbish on the beaches and, and being able to clean it up. Marine pollution. I'd say the same thing. You're in the boat and you just, you know, check out your rubbish, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I suppose it, it covers everything, doesn't it? We have had recycling. Um, we did it on Park Island, yeah. didn't we? We talked about looking after our environment. You know, if you tip the rock over, you put the rock back. That's just about, you know, caring for Papatua Nuku and all that. So they are aware you don't just throw things out the window of your car. You know, you sort of collect it, you put it in the bin. Mm. Yeah. I guess if you're living, living in the environment, you're very respectful and aware of it. And people that don't, don't aren't always the same. And you'll find that there, there can be more rubbish and things like that around and about. And even things floating in the sea, I guess, more. Um, you know, it, it is different. And I guess out at Matodi Bay, you know, they've had, not monuments, but they've had... Um, 
thing set up there which they've actually removed because they just got filled with rubbish like beautiful waka and things like that and it was just a rubbish dump and because water being the essence of life you know and without it being healthy you know exactly I'd definitely there's definitely that connection most definitely It really bugs me the number of um, uh, cigarette butts that you find on beaches. Uh, I used to think that it wasn't a problem. They would just disintegrate. They would disappear. It was a big issue. Um, but then I did a bit of research and found that cigarette butts can take hundreds of years to degrade and decompose. And they're also small. They're, they're the sort of thing which... Um, various creatures in the sea will try out as food um, and will swallow um, and they're not going to degrade in a fish's stomach or whatever. Um, so basically what that animal is doing is it's filling its stomach but with inedible stuff so eventually basically it starves. Um, so to me to have the carelessness and thoughtlessness of people just chucking their fag ends on the beaches because they can't be bothered going up and putting it in the bin. Um, they have a direct connection to killing the sea life. Um, and it's, I find it that actually quite upsetting. The beach water might, the beach, the beach water might get the rubbish when you're sitting close to it and it might float it into the ocean. And if the fish eat the rubbish, the fish will get sick or dead. Everybody should pick up their rubbish off the beach. So that's the lowdown from down low. But what do you humans think about your impact on our oceans? With the help of students from Springbank, Whangarei Heads and St Francis Xavier schools, I put some important questions to the people.